Ten years ago today, Mark Zuckerberg's now legendary bedroom to billionaire story was just beginning. Holed up in a Harvard dorm room, Zuckerberg and fellow students created Facebook, a web of connected profiles which grew into a social network for over a billion people worldwide. A million dollars isn't cool, you know what's cool? A billion dollars. As an early investor, Sean Parker gabbled excitedly in The Social Network, the movie about the company. We lived on farms, then we lived in cities, and now we're going to live on the internet. Now, almost 760 million people log on to the website every day, and over a million marketers use Facebook to reach potential customers. But while Facebook reaches double digits in a position to party, its prospects have not always looked so rosy. It has been widely criticised for not protecting its users' privacy, for having a negative impact on how people interact in real life, from selfies to Facebook stalking and its initial public offering has been cited by some as a case study in how not to go public. The smartphone once looked like it would be the end of Facebook. In 2012, Facebook went public in one of the largest technology IPOs in history. Within months of listing, with a valuation of over $100 billion, shares dropped to half the issue price as investors fretted that while Facebook users were happily tapping away on their Facebook app, advertisers would not follow them to mobile. But they did sell ads, and last week's earnings marked a true coming of age for Facebook, as mobile advertising made up more than half of all advertising revenue. Shares have soared over 110% in the last year, and Facebook celebrated turning 10 with a new mobile app, Paper, which uses cutting-edge design to encourage people to share even more stories, from those baby photos to stories from journalists. The company is optimistic that now that Sean Parker's premonition will come true, people will not just live on the internet, but they'll live on Facebook. In fact, according to one online calculator, I alone have spent 31 days in the last eight years on Facebook. The challenge for the company now is to make sure people want to spend at least that much on the site during the next 10 years.